In this video, I thought I would talk about funnel building. So in the world of funnel building, especially in digital marketing, we're talking about something that looks like this. This is a very rudimentary drawing of a funnel. You have the top of the funnel, you have the middle of the funnel, and then you have the bottom of the funnel. The bottom of the funnel is where the money is made. The leads come into the top of the funnel. Then, for example, or in the example that I'm going to give you in this video using System.io, where they have their freemium plan, there's a link in the description, you can check that out. They have a affiliate dashboard. Inside the affiliate dashboard, it looks something like this. They have the link to promote System.io as an affiliate. They also have offers down in the marketplace. We're going to use this offer right here as an example. This offers how to make $100 a day with your email list. Here they have an opt-in page and then they have a sales page. This opt-in page is the top of the funnel. This sales page is the bottom of the funnel. So yes, that means that there's something right here that is the middle of the funnel. And I wanna show you what that is by going to the opt-in page, which looks like this. So this is the top of the funnel. You as an affiliate marketer, would send people from your videos, from your blog post, from your social media post to this to get free access to the first video of our course. They would enter their email address here to watch the video. Entering their email address gives them the free thing. That brings the people here into the top of the funnel. This thing right here is F-R-E-E. -E. And this is a really terrible way to write the word free. And it takes them to the middle of the funnel where you are going to provide education or you're going to encourage them to go down to the bottom of the funnel and spend money or come out of the bottom of the funnel and buy money or have bought something so you can make money as an affiliate. So we go back to the how to make $100 a day we have the top of the funnel, the opt-in page. We have the middle, which is going to be a little piece of education. It's going to be a piece of content that essentially drives them to the sales page. So we go, we check out the opt-in page, enter your email address. People enter their email address here. It brings them to this, watch the first video of the course. So they're giving away the first video of the course. They watch the course, get access to the entire course. They click here it opens up where they can save $490 on the new course. And then of course down here, this is the sales page where the course can be purchased. Again, going back to the drawing of the funnel where we are trying to get these people right here into the top of the funnel and give them something free, then give them a little education, educate them on the fact that they need to buy the product at the bottom of the funnel, and then we earn a commission. Now, inside of that, if we were to represent this the way that we did earlier, you could actually create this funnel yourself because the big issue here is when you're promoting something as an affiliate, if you don't create your own funnel, meaning if you don't create, and I need to click on the pencil to draw, if you don't create your own opt-in page, so this is your squeeze page, Squeeze page is a page that only gives one option. And that option is to enter an email address and press a button to submit to go on to the next page, which is going to be the middle of the funnel. So again, this is the top of the funnel. Then the middle of the funnel will be another page like the page that you saw there. But typically in the case of giving a product away, you can do squeeze page, squeeze page, or squeeze page to opt-in page, because the squeeze page here, you would be giving them a free thing. So you could literally put your opt-in page, your own opt-in page, or your own squeeze page in front of this. So your squeeze page could go in front of this. It's going to go down a little bit in conversions, but that is the way that you could use this. Or you can go inside of System.io, and you can go under funnels, and then you can create your own funnel here, by creating a new funnel name, test funnel, and you can build an audience. Here you can build an audience by selecting save. And then here you would click on that funnel. Then here you would build a squeeze page and then a thank you page for that squeeze page. Essentially you're getting people to opt in. 
then on your thank you page, you could build a new layer of a funnel and you could say, check your email. Then you could build an email list campaign and you could automate that with rules and workflow. And what that's gonna look like is this. Again, we're talking about another level to a funnel. Still top, middle, and bottom, but just a few extra layers of top or a few additional layers of technology and using email to follow up inside of the funnel. So this would be the top of the funnel and this would be where they would opt in here with their email address and press the submit button. Then you would take them over to a thank you page and the thank you page would say, check your email. And again, your email or this is really all gonna be top of funnel. This is all gonna be top because you're just trying to get people into their email. Then you're gonna send them a series of emails and this series of emails that you're going to send them inside of the campaign using System.io is going to be the middle of the funnel. Same concept, you're just stepping out and you're saying in the middle, middle of the funnel, instead of letting them see the education piece or giving them the piece of content on the next page when they opt in, I'm gonna drive them back to their email. And then inside of the email, I'm gonna send them to the bottom of the funnel or I'm gonna send them to the sales page. And again, that can all be done here inside of System.io. With the freemium account, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hopefully that was clear, but I wanted it to be ultimately a way to understand that a funnel is made up of three parts, but a funnel is not just a series of pages, or it doesn't just have to be a series of pages. It could be a group of pages where people opt in at the top, where you're just feeding leads into a funnel, and you're funneling people through a sales process. The sales process in this case is you have people opt in at the top of the funnel. Then in the middle of the funnel, you're educating them by emails on the fact that you have an offer that helps solve their problem. And then the emails take them over to the bottom of the funnel where the sales page does the work of selling them or converting them and letting them buy. And then you as an affiliate or you as a product creator that has your own offer can then make money at the bottom of the funnel. And again, the concept at a high level is you're just taking people from where they are right now to where you want to take them or where they ultimately want to be because they're here right now with a problem. When they get over here, then their problem will be solved. And that's essentially what a funnel is all about. Again, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this one and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.